morning everyone. So today I Suhani here to discuss some points on different types of irrigation techniques. As we all know food is very important for us for our development, growth etc. In that way only plant need water for their growth, nutrition, development etc. We will take different types of irrigations one by one. First come traditional system of irrigation. It involves uh, pulling of water from wells, tubewells, rivers, ponds, etc. to irrigate the land. It is also known as pulley system. This is commonly used in northern parts of India, for example, Himachal Pradesh, our state. Now comes its advantage and disadvantage. So first advantage, they can be used for that land which is recently labeled and this also reduces the erosion um, um, with amount of time. Now comes its disadvantage. This, uh, this process is very time consuming. It, uh, it, sometimes it takes up to three to four uh, days to complete. It, uh, it has water logging issue also. Now second comes modern system of irrigation. So this is subdivided into two parts that are sprinkler system and drip system. So first we will take sprinkler system. Sprinkler system is the method of irrigation uh, which is uh, like a natural rainfall is occurring. It is done by sp uh, sprinklers. This is commonly used in Rajasthan, Andhra Pradesh, etc. Now comes this disadvantage and advantage. So for that um, advantage, it reduces the water wastage as we all educated that we should conserve water. So this is the best method for conservation of water. Now comes its disadvantage. Uh, it can also uh, damage the plant by excessive water in one plant only. Now comes drip, drip irrigation. It's called trinkler, uh, trinkled system in many uh, states. It involves dripping of water in the roots of the plant at a very low rate, up to 2 to 20 liter per hour. This method is commonly used in Meghalaya, for Bamboo and in Assam. Now comes its advantage and disadvantage. It prevents diseases uh, by minimizing the water content on leaves and uh, stems, etc. This was its advantage. Now comes its disadvantage. Its initial cost is very high, uh, more than its overhead expense. Many of the farmers can't afford this, but this method is very useful for irrigation as it reduces the um, water wastage and uh, there is no chances of um, like no chances of damaging of the uh, plant so these were different types of irrigation thank you